So this is interesting. The GPS was showing this particularly steep hill. And I was like, God, that's really steep to climb. It turns out it's this big tunnel coming up that we're about to go through. And it's awesome. It looks like it might be three miles long. I don't know, I might be crazy. It'd be cool if it was. Okay, it's not three miles long. Alright, hold your breath everybody. Ready? One, two, three. be horrible in the summer and honestly it would be like almost too hot for the bus to go through because it would just be it would just be hot you know but uh boy in the winter time what a treat i would do this every winter that's beautiful here and it looks like we might have some snow up ahead we're about uh 15 miles or so outside of elko nevada right now those are the cutest little cars. I want one. I know, right? I want one of those, but like for like a bus. We get get some of those for the bus. We change them out and just do some long hauls. You know, cross country on the railroad, like modern hobos. <laughs> Babe, we are modern day hobos. I know we are. <laughs> but we never get to ride the rails, man. <laughs> Our forefathers would not be proud of us. My brother and many members of my family can attest to this, but my great-grandpa Ash was literally a hobo, or also a wino, and he literally did ride trains around and hang out with other hobos at hobo camps, and he had all kinds of stories about it. I never obviously got to know him, because he was dead before I was born, but everybody else in the family knows. Crazy, huh? That's kind of cool. I come from a long line of hobos. <laughs> We're here. Welcome to Elk Snout. <laughs> and if you catch that reference, I'll send you a free sticker if you're the first one to comment. Welcome to Elko, Nevada. A town rich in poverty. In elk. <laughs> a town rich in elk. I don't know. I don't know anything about this town to make a judgment uh, like that. I do know something about this town. Do you? I do know that this is the town where they have the big old cowboy poetry gathering every year. Oh, so you have been around. Mm, no, I haven't been here. I just know. Oh. I was born in a barn, but it wasn't yesterday. You want to go outside, Mama Kate? Come on. She, she wants, wants to, to go outside real bad. Around Come on, Mama. In the park. I'll take you out. Come on, we're going for a walk. Don't be scared. Oh, some dirt. Yay, some dirt. Are you running away? Don't go too far. There's cars way down there. She knows the way to get back to the bus. She isn't scared. She has kitty superpower. Good day, Mama. <laughs> oh, there it is. Roll down the hill, that'd be so funny. <laughs> she needed to roll in the dirt so bad. She been under the couch all day. All day, Mama, huh? What, like four hours? <laughs> She's happy down there. Anyway, we're staying at the Elko, Nevada Walmart parking lot. This is probably the third or fourth time we've stayed at a Walmart now. We didn't for the longest time, and now that we've been traveling a lot, it has happened a few times. It's just as good as any other place, really. We're only here for a night, and we actually have a few things we need to buy anyway, so it'll be convenient. Continue on I-80. We're on the road again. Traffic on your roof. 
on the way out of Elko towards our next unknown destination. It was 17 degrees last night, you guys. But Mike had the thermostat on running the diesel heaters periodically throughout the night, so we didn't notice it. We were fine. <laughs> Welcome to the little bitty weird little town of West Wendover, Nevada. Because we actually have not crossed into uh, Utah yet. Problem du jour. Let's just make a strange noise. I'm gonna get started on breakfast because my stomach's making a strange noise. I think the salt flats are underwater. Aww. Are we here at the wrong time of year? I don't know. Aww, you guys, we're at the Bonneville Speedway and we thought we would be able to just drive right out onto the salt flats. And now it's looking like potentially that will not be the case because the salt flats look like a lake. Look Are at this. A lake, actually. I can't claim that I've ever known very much about the Bonneville salt flats other than that they exist, but I had no idea that it was like a seasonal thing if you wanted to drive out onto the salt flats. I didn't know that there might be a time of year that you couldn't drive out there. Oh my gosh, look how clear the water is, you guys. I didn't realize it was like crystal, crystal clear out here. Oh, and look at all the salt on the bottom. That's so weird. Oh, it's really kind of beautiful with all the patterns that the light makes on this crystal clear water. Wow, I kind of love it. Can you see the chunky salt down under the water? I don't know how well it's showing up in the camera. I can't tell until I edit how it actually looks. But if you're here in real life, the sunlight is glistening off the salt on the bottom, it seems like. There's like sparkles on the bottom like glitter. And then the sunlight and the ripples of the water. The whole thing's really beautiful. Yeah, you could go out if you want to. It's nice to get out of the bus and have a little rest break, huh, Mamacita? Going down to the water, you're gonna freak out. Wow, what a brave kitty you are. So brave going to the water's edge. It's yucky water, Mama Sita. Don't drink it. Are you getting the water? Are you silly? It's yucky, huh? Doesn't taste very good, I know. Mm, little good kitty. You're a good kitty, you know that? You're the best kitty ever. Ooh, in some places it's 
really sparkly under the surface of the water. It's so pretty when you look out across the whole thing and all these sparkles, especially around the edges. What are you doing, little mama? You're hanging out by me because we're friends? Yeah, we're friends, huh? Best friends. Oh, she's thick her paw right in the water. Oh, you're crazy. You can't walk on that, silly. You can't walk on that. <laughs> what are you doing, silly? You, you're walking right in the water? You're not even scared of this water? <laughs> you know, nut job. our new spot for the night. Come on, Mama. You want to see? Oh, yay, it's dirt. It's time for some dirt yoga right now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> of course it is. Of course it's time for dirt yoga. Okay, Mama Kitty approves. Oh, you're filthy. Look at that. You're a mess. Now you're going to have to take another bath from head to toe. She's going to be just sitting in the dirt out there, I guess. Yeah, she's a weird cat. Tomorrow morning when I get up, when it warms up tomorrow morning, I'm going to climb under the bus and I'm going to look. It sounds like the um, turbo's whistling. I think that's what that sound is. Oh. So I need to look and see if that's what it is. Because it seems to only do it under load. And so that would make sense. So I just gotta look at it and see. See if there's a hole in one of the pipes or the uh, like the turbo hose unseated or something like that. Oh, gotcha. In the meantime, we're here. We are here. Well, let's check internet ability real quick. Let's put up our put up our mast. Oh, I've got great signal for the phone. There we are. Signal quality minus seven. It's bouncing around minus four, minus five, minus seven. So that's a really good signal. At minus 10, I would still be watching the internet, watching streaming Netflix. So, minus 6 is actually particularly good. This is not snow. This is the Salt Lake, the Great Salt Lake. And it's going to be 100 miles to get across this thing. God, seriously, a hundred miles of this? Yeah. I swear you can see the curvature of the earth from here. <laughs> Check it out, you guys. Look what we see in the distance up there. It's the tree of Utah. I wish if we were going the other direction, we could stop and check it out, but like, we're not. <laughs> and so we can't like just pull over on the side of the road. It's emergency stopping only, as this sign right here says. 
so we can't just stop and you know walk over there. Looks like there's a turnaround that would put us driving hundreds of miles back to turn around again. Very shameful. Great art installment. It looks like tennis balls. Yeah. Ginormous metal tennis balls. They're concrete. Oh, they're concrete. Are they? Yeah, they're concrete. Goodbye, tree of Utah. I looked it up. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. It's the strangest thing. It looks like rocks out here, but it's actually mud balls. And people make pictures and hearts and their initials and stuff out there in the mud balls. There's some more mud ball art. Big part, another part. Are they mud balls? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because think about it. If they were mud balls, if it rained, they would break down. Oh right? yeah, you know what? I just saw some stacked up. Maybe they are actually rocks. I wonder if it comes from whatever this the side of the road is made of. Oh, this up they're to using, build a road yeah, rocks over from the here. Salt. And making little it's funny how many people have done it though. Like it's a whole thing here that people stop and do their little rock art and spell their names and all kinds of stuff. Thing to do on a day when it's 25 degrees but have an ice cream cone that won't melt. It's only 75 cents, you have to. It's like the last place in America to get ice cream for 75 cents. Just look at you could walk outside with it and it won't melt. Ever. Right. We could keep it till til tomorrow. Spring. Till spring. <laughs> America looks a lot like a truck stop to me. <laughs> to say the least. Well, it's just, it's the whole thing here is Little America. There's, there's places to Turn stay. Looks like there's a restaurant or something over here. So I'm just trying to put us someplace that doesn't have a lot of rigs so we don't have to listen to them. So if we park closer, we have to deal with loud trucks. Now we could park closer and just go get our ice cream cone and then come back out there. <laughs> that seems like the logical thing to do. <laughs> I like your, your thinking. I bet you guys didn't know, but Carrie's anaphylactically allergic to snow. And if she touches it, she'll die within minutes. But I gotta know my cold gear for getting some ice cream. <laughs> Very wise. It's 25 degrees out here in this chill right now. Because I'm not allergic to ice cream. <laughs> I even got on my super cold gear because it's freezing on my noggin. Much better in here. Thanks, Hones. Oh, it's really a nice little place. Oh, See, down. you could have a cool one too. 
<laughs> oh, they got fossils here. And cool geodes, man. Rainforest frogs. Oh, I would eat those. They look delicious. Are they gummy or something different? They look gummy. They look gummy. Are you working on getting us kicked out of Little America? Whatever, I'm working on a construction project. Oh, oh, that was a failed construction project. We have to keep going until we get it right. It's not how this is going to work. Almost. It worked for a second. You're an embarrassment. You're a disgrace. Obviously, we should get the ice cream cone. <laughs> Got the dinosaur. They do have the buffalo one. What are our choices? Ice cream, buffalo, dinosaur? Dinosaur and a penguin. Penguin didn't seem right. They don't have like the Wyoming State Bucking Bronco thing? What? Crazy. Let's get the buffalo. Chance against this broad. You can do it. Oh. You ready? Let us see. Boom. That is cool. New penny for the collection. That's right. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right, take it back to the booth. It's what, 24 degrees outside and we're having ice cream? Yes, of course we are. It's a perfect thing to do. When it's hot out, it's too hot for ice cream and it melts everywhere. <laughs> this way you can enjoy your, you can enjoy this for a long period of time. Yes, there will be no melting here. You can literally save some for later. Just set it down. Eat some later. When's the last time you could do that with an ice cream cone? Yeah, no, it's Never. Like, he even got on his ice cream eating boots, you That's guys. Right. He's like ice cream Look. ready from head to toe. Oh, snow ready. Don't you know it? Right. My ice cream got colder on the way over here. 